Hello Idle Hero Gamers and welcome back to another episode in this series. You guys might recognize it from the profile picture we have here. But this is my Alchemist series with Holmes Young that is going to be our first Transcended Hero. So it's been a while since I've played on this account but I really wanted to revive it as I think the concept with Holmes Young is super nice. I just watched the last episode to sort of make Make myself remember a bit where we were. We have a 10 star Holmes Young, uh, we have a 10 star Garuda, the Garuda is going to be used as food. We need copies for Holmes Young I'm pretty sure. We actually do have copies. It has been a while since the last time I was on this account so I don't remember all of the resources do we have. We have some bonus 10 stars, we have 9 stars. We basically need Holmes Young copies. I think we need copies of Ignis and Waldeck. We have one Heart Watcher, which is nice. Um, we need Ignis 9 star, Waldeck 9 star. Sigmund is going to be used as food, I'm pretty sure. E5 Holmes Young, that's our first objective at least. Since it has been a while since we played on this account, we have gotten some rewards and some comeback stuff. So we're going to go all through all of that. We're going to build up the Holmes Young to E1 and then we are just going to go through everything that we can go through and see yeah how far we can continue this series so first of all we have a bunch of bond quest rewards so let's just claim everything here we got some borders some artifacts a bunch of stars uh, a bunch of shards uh, random artifact guild coins there are a bunch of things here okay first I want to go into the bag and see what we have okay stellar shards um, skin selection chest, we don't need to use these yet, transcendence copies, is there anything interesting here? Nothing for us to use, flag, we can wait with this, we have the fantasy arcade, they are probably all going to be used on stellar shard, and then we have this mysterious artifact fortune chest, so let's open this, we hope for, I don't know, have I opened, I need to check, do I have an artifact from before? I have a magic source, um, replace, I do not have any other great artifacts. Okay, so we have a magic source, I think we are going for, we want melodic strings or we want the golden crown. Okay, so let's open mysterious artifact, fortune chest, Augustus magic ball. That is not too bad. That is uh, pretty decent for Aspen Dungeon. Yeah, we take that. We do take that. And now, because we have the the comeback challenges, or like the whenever you come back and you haven't played in a while, you get like bonuses to everything. So everything is times three. Um, you also, when you claim campaign, it's times three. Loot is times three. Everything is super good. We're not going to claim anything yet because we need to check the chapter missions. Obtain an E1 hero is what we need to continue. That's perfect. Is there any growth pack stuff we can buy? 36? No, there is not. Let's also check the glory challenges because we got something here. Okay, we got some relics, nice. Okay, so let's continue with our chapter missions. I've almost finished all of our daily quests. We just need to get rewards in the campaign, but I'm still waiting to, for that because might be a gold claiming mission. It is, so we can finish that. So firstly, let's take our one and only Mr. Man to E1. That is crazy. That is so cool. I didn't expect us to have him um, E1 already. So that's great. Get him to level 260. Perfect. Um, we also got some elite hero shards. So let's hope for a Holmes Young. Oh, Saja. That's okay. But that's not exactly what we wanted. But it's, 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 it's okay. So, okay, we can then finish our chapter mission. That actually gives us another Garuda copy. Interesting, but we're not building the Garuda anymore. So there's no reason to use that. Okay, we get another elite hero shard. So, which we can open, we can claim these. And then we go into the campaign and we finally get our rewards. Oh, that gives us a bunch of levels. And there are a bunch of stuff here to also claim. Um... That means we can definitely... I was trolling, it was deal damage to boss in guild altar. Honestly, it doesn't matter because we can't make an E2 hero yet. But 
What I had to do is leave my uh, current guild and just make a solo guild because the uh, other guild was already at uh, was already finished with all the guild bosses. So I'm just going to uh, blast through all of the solo guild bosses because I don't believe I have done that. That's just I'm going to use uh, use my gems on it as well to just get it over with as fast as possible. I'm not sure like how many guild bosses I have killed from beforehand. I think we should see. Yeah, okay, we get rewards. Yeah. So because some of the bosses I have killed and but not all of the bosses so yeah we, we're gonna have to do it like that again this is not supposed to be like a super optimal uh, guide gameplay as I've said many times in this series so we are not doing it perfectly what I'm going to do now is push to the maximum of my ability in campaign and I will get back to you when I'm done with that and we're back. That was quite a short push. I thought <laughs> I thought we gained a lot more levels than we did. However, that is fine. It doesn't really matter too much. We can go into the Aspen dungeon. We have a stronger Holmes Young. Uh, let's just throw in some more heroes. We save that. It gets smashed and we are going to push this shortly. But we also need to check our Tower of Oblivion because I believe we can push further in here as well. We put the Ignis next to the Holmes Young. I do believe we frontline line him. I just want to see how the battle goes. So this is where we lastly left off in the Tower of the Oblivion. No doves. Not a single dove from the Holmes Young. Because Holmes Young as a first hero is kind of crazy actually. He can do a lot of stuff. Oh, he got CC'd. He got CC'd. Let's try to backline him. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. And then we see how that goes. We want Waldeck to die early, so having him frontline is fine. Maybe I should have the Garuda frontline instead of the Heartwatcher. I mean the extra heroes, they are just filler heroes basically. So now Waldeck dies early, okay, gives us the boost on Holmes, Young and Garuda, and they also die actually. Are we actually go going to struggle? I think it's just a CC issue though. I think it's a CC issue. Let's try one more where we watch it, uh, and let's do this, this, and then see how it goes. I'm not sure how I am uh, going to structure this account in the end. Maybe I want it to be like a damage over time poison build. Because I think that could be very fun. Like uh, my six transcendence team hero is going to be like just stacking, stacking dots. Yeah, now that's more like it. Michelle Resurrect, who cares? You are about to get owned by the Holmes Young. Let's go. Confirm, I'm just going to hit the skip battle and see, that's a defeat! That's a defeat again! Let's see what's happening in this one! So getting him to E1 is not a huge upgrade, it's not pushing us, uh, pushing us an insane amount further. Uh, also, I don't think I will be able to do anything in this week's event because uh, this is the first day I am playing um, and the event has already been on for like three days. That's a victory! Let's go! Um, so I'm going to have to start from uh, next week's event to start participating properly in events as well. Um, let's try another skip. One more skip. That's a victory. Let's keep going. Defeat, we are struggling on this wave. It's probably a CC issue. One more skip and then let's watch this fight. Let's see how it goes. So we got two doves. Two doves are okay. We also have a new artifact. We have the Augustus Magic Ball. Uh, I'm not going to upgrade it or anything yet. I also need to do the arcades, okay, so I can get the melodic strings. That's a defeat. Getting also more magic sources is very good for Holmes Young because whenever a teammate does their uh, ability, their ultimate ability, he throws out extra potions. Okay, so that's 
that's how far we got in Tower of Oblivion 5, 33, that's decent. There was one more thing I wanted to do in the monthly events, and that is broken spaces. So, I think we can just smash through this one, I think we can one shot. Um, let's do this, this, and then we put this, 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 and then we need a snack. We did one shot, okay, let's check stage two. Do we have to put it out every time? I don't have lineups yet. Like this, this, and then we have the Heart Watcher. Oh, I forgot the snake. The Heart Watcher really helps in broken spaces. Now this one might be tougher. So I'm just gonna skip because I forgot the snake. That's 667 without the snake. So let's see the power of the snake. It's so, you don't see the health bars move. So it seems like you're not doing any damage, but slowly, slowly but surely, they are ticking down. I'm wondering if they actually do kill the wall deck. Because usually broken spaces don't deal too much damage. It's more about you not dealing enough damage for the round 15 end. That's a CC on Heart Watcher, we don't like that. Need Heart Watcher to stack her uh, damage amplification. Still CC'd. That's a bunch of damage over time ticking in. Because the snake gives uh, an amplification damage buff on poison targets, if I remember correctly. It's been a while since I've played this game, guys. So I don't, like the all of the, the knowledge, it's not, it's not where it used to be. It is not where it used to be. I need to, I need to get back into the groove. But honestly, I've missed making videos and I feel like now I'm in a spot where I can actually focus on making some videos. Um, there are there are some reasons as to why I have <laughs> as to why I had to take another small break, but you know, it is what it is. Life life hits. But we are uh, going to come back strong with the Alchemist series. Also, I have another series planned. Uh, which is going to be a secret. I will reveal that later, but I think that's a very cool series um, And it requires a very specific strategy and there it is a very specific It's like a, the goal is very specific. So that's going to be cool also going to make some uh, more Educational informational videos. So that's going to be great. Of course. I'm going to focus also on the free-to-play guide uh, playthrough videos so that's going to be amazing. So that's, we are dealing a bunch of damage. So let's just skip through. Yeah, so 400k more damage when the snack is on. So remember guys, pets are important. Um, I think we can just, oh, should have just smashed. Skip, victory, let's go. Um, I think we'll do a tenor smash on this stage and that's all we're going to push for now we'll wait because usually when you do broken spaces you should wait until it's like two one or two days left and then use your attempts because your account will probably be stronger so let's claim all of this and that is going to be probably allow us to upgrade our monster it is so that's an evolved snack so upgrade this to 13 okay and how far can we go here not very very far that's a better snake and now we have Aspen dungeon so let's just kill off our wall deck our heart watcher our Sigmund our Garuda she will probably be able to win this she will we're, we're just gonna hold our homes because it's full energy I don't oh she got defeated I don't remember which waves are the hard ones so that's something we have to relearn again. So let's just skip this battle. Maybe, I think we should watch one. Okay, he has no energy now. We're versus four, Mar Margaret, is that her name? Man, I don't remember anything. Okay, so that was way too easy. So I think we can just skip. Our goal for today is to hit Nightmare 50. So one Bloodblade, one Queen. He's losing minimal health. Dark Arthendol. Yeah, I think I think we're going to be okay to Nightmare 50. It's Walter. Those waves might be hard. 
this wave should be fine. I'm just going to skip ahead until Nightmare 50 and then we'll run it back from there. Okay, so we are at Nightmare 50 and I believe that should be no issue as well. Man, Holmes Young really is good. This hero is so much fun. I honestly love Holmes Young. Because this is so easy for us, I think we are just going to do one more little skip ahead and see what happens if we go to Nightmare 100, see if it's uh, possible. Because this looks uh, very easy, I barely lose any HP, or not even anything at all. So I'll see you back then. Okay, we're all the way at Nightmare 100, not a single problem along the way, didn't use any potions, and it's almost a one shot. Another victory, another day, another dollar. So that means we are in the hell difficulty. And let's see, is this going to be as easy? No, it's not. But they are still not doing a lot of damage. That is crazy. Is it actually just an easy hell 50 as well? There's no way we can get through the entirety of hell. Well... I think we're just going to have to do another skip through. It's going to take so much time if I show you all of these battles. So let's just check back at Hell 50 and see how it goes. <laughs> As we expected, we made it to Hell 50. And honestly, this looks still very, very easy. So yeah, I do believe we are... We might actually make it through all the way through Hell as well. So uh, once again... I am going to just skip forward. I did not expect us to get this far because I know that in the last episode we pushed Aspen Dungeon quite hard. Um, but yeah, ah, okay, we lost some HP now. Still, I am going to skip through. Whoops, that was a very unexpected loss. I believe it was versus uh, a Dark Arthindal wave. So I'm just guessing we got CC'd and died. However, we got all the way Hell 64, that is very very good. Managed to push more than 150 waves in uh, Aspen Dungeon, so I'm very satisfied with that. We can check if we can push any further in the Sea Land. So let's just put in all of our units. We do Snack, and let's see how it goes here. Oh yeah, this is. We are definitely pushing in Sea Land. Ah, he takes a lot of damage. I should have swapped him with Sigmund. And I think putting him backline would be nice. Still though, this should be a win. This is definitely a win. Yes sir. We go for another push, but we swap these and I think I... Yeah, I think I want to keep the backline in the backline. Because I want uh, as much basic attacks from my heroes as well. So if I get one of my level 1 heroes one shot in the front line, then I lose some damage from the from the Holmes Young. I think we're be, we're able to do this as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is very do doable. Perfect. That's great. And then we can challenge one more. I think we might be able to do one more forest as well. And probably the other factions, because I believe we have some treasures in the treasure train. Um, so even though we only have level 1 heroes in the other factions, we might be able to go through um, the first stage of the other... Ooh, it's getting close. Yes, very nice. And um, this one, this is... I think this is where it stops. This is probably where it stops. Keep chucking out those potions, my guy. Come on. Okay. An act oh, okay. Not an active. Let's try and do some skips. Nope. We're gonna save some attempts for forest. Nay. So let's try and do a forest one. Uh, because I believe we should be able to get one here. Maybe two. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. Could just give the Garuda the magic source, but... We're not going for, like, the, the hardest push today. So that's fine. That's great. That's too easy. Skip. Victory. And one more. 
Skip victory. Oh, that's a defeat. That's an okay. Okay, so let's just smash here. Five smashes. Let's go. Um, let's also check this uh, card, Clash of Illusions. I've never done this before. So you can buy with gems, 6,000 gems. Um, yeah, let's let's try this. I've never done it, so let's test. Um, so I do believe I need to draw. Um, it's restrained challenge stage. This is not something I can do. We're not going to smash. Also, these are the rewards. Ooh. I think if we getting to stage five would be very nice because we need five of those. Can I like swap the cards? I cannot. So let's draw, and then we get a bonus card, and this does more damage. I'm guessing final or a bonus, and we don't really want to use this. Okay, so this is going to deal more damage because it's trans and dark, and then we can switch into dark, isn't it? I just need to check um, two, three heroes from the same faction, two heroes from the same faction. So if I do this, that's going to do more damage. So attack with this team. Very nice. Trans, that's good. So I can switch to fortress. Ah, so this is a bonus because I have two. Oh, I see, I see. And then bonus them. Ah, okay, okay. I am learning. Now this is a good one. So this gives... Uh, what does this card do? Initial power of heroes from Shadow, Abyss and Dark in this team will go up. Abyss, Shadow and Dark. Isn't this great to use here? That looks pretty good. Oh, but I think I should save all of these power to last hit it or something. I do believe that is the play. So that's another power upgrade. Or a bonus. Um, I think we just attack with this one. Or this one. Y you guys, I, I haven't watched a guide on this yet, so... Also tell me in the comments how... If I'm doing it extremely badly or if I'm doing it fine. Um, is there any reason for me to... Yeah, let's do this. Aura bonus. Boom. And then... Let's do this. Um, I have aura bonus here. 30%. Gives me 40. So let's do the aura bonus. That's 49. Okay. That's fine, I guess. Stage 2. Oh, I lose the card I have... Now that's, that's information that is good to know. So I can make a hero trans. What does this do? Teams, faction, restrain bonus. Should I just do... I think This is our bonus here, so that's good. Attack with this. I think we're still saving this, so I can get a triple, triple card bonus, hopefully. And that's all of the stuff we had for this round. So I am going to continue to just do the daily stuff. Starlight Melody. Wait, why can I open these? Consume enchanted cards. Oh, okay. Claim all. Transcendence scope. Yes, we can make an E2. Let's go! That's amazing! But you know what that means. That means we can we can make an E3 actually. We are We are zooming guys. Holmes Young, my guy, Sigmund, Holmes Young in, enable. That's an E2 Holmes Young. And then we need just a 10 star. We're not using Garuda. Not now. But what we do use is our 10 star puppet. So let's summon this one. Go into Holmes Young. And then we upgrade you one more time, you beautiful, beautiful hero. And that means we need two more copies and we are finished with our Holmes Young. That's insane. 290, let's go. 
and then we put on, we switch the skill. Uh, lethal fight back, let's go. And here, let's start with control purify. And that gives us an Inosuke. And that's good, because I believe Inosuke is one of our tenants. Yes, that also means we can do more chapter missions. Awesome. But we need to do more guild bosses, so we are stuck again. <laughs> <gasps> this is a wild ride. This is back and forth. Okay, so we cannot do more chapter missions. However, Tower of Brave, Tower of Oblivion. Uh, we don't have another level 100 hero. This should be... It's a defeat! No, and we didn't even get to see why. That's okay though. Also, if you have a comeback radio code, which... Uh, I can use then please tell me in the comments down below and I will link you up with my comeback radio yeah and I believe that is everything for today on the alchemist series uh, this was a really good climb today e3 Holmes young that is amazing thank you so much for watching and my name is light and have an awesome evening